So there you have it, life lessons with ball and chain constrictors. How to sneak great animals into your collection. Yep. Stay tuned. Day to day, I'm on a genetic hunt. It's a lust, it's a love. All the colors in the phase in the man cave be brave. Surrounded by exotics. Genetic hunt the life, living like moving erotic. Erotic. Check this out. Now, what type of retic are we looking at here? The orange gold tiger. Oh, look at him repping Corporal Soto right there. That's a nice shirt, bro. Thanks. And for the first time, I can say my phone is doing some major justice to this beauty of this animal here. So you got nice peaches, nice orange, lavender, some grays. Oh yeah, some yellows. All of this. And the best part about retics is they keep all this as they age. Oh my goodness. Welcome to Ball and Chain Constrictors. Pattern, what does he go and tell me? <laughs> it's a normal. It's a normal. Beautiful animal. Yeah. So what uh what made you do this, bro? Uh, Burmese were the very first type of snakes that I ever got to hold, and I've always had a love for them. Uh, not a lot of people work with them here. Oh, but now Ball and Chain Constrictors is definitely working with the Burmese, right? Yeah. Let's see what else you got, brother. I know. All right, guys, right here we have a hypo granite, so. and Ed is notorious for not getting bit, so we're gonna see what happens today. Yeah, that was just not getting bit. That's just what happened. That's okay. Last time I was holding her like that, and she turned around and got me. Okay. How are you, beautiful? And this is a girl here? Yeah, this is a female hypo granite. Wow, and the granite is because yes. of all this right here, the pattern. Yeah. Very gorgeous. Oh, Look at that head. very curious. Oh yeah, she's super observant. Yeah, she didn't like them thumbs. She was like, what is your thumb doing there, my friend? Wow. Now, I know you're doing big things, but uh, I'm, my goodness, I mean, how did you convince the wife to just let you go and get a big beauty like this? Uh, I just did it. Is that your advice to all of us uh, keepers out there, just do it? Yeah, I mean, especially if you have your own room for your reptiles, you know, they can't really tell you what you could do in the room, because that's what it's for, is the reptiles. This is definitely the personal opinion of Austin at Ball and Chain Constrictors. Yeah, before it gets to the size that, you know, she'll actually start to notice what it is. <laughs> just go for it. She won't it. even realize that just, you've had it for so long. Just do it. Look at that. Check this out, guys. So right here, he is playing with the hanger to get this gorgeous animal out. What are we looking at, bro? This is uh, part of the breeding pair that I got for that albino, or Obviously an albino Burmese, but he's also 100% pet labyrinth and 66% oh, wow. pet So you were showing me some pictures of the labyrinth. It's a beautiful gene. It, it, it looks like, you know, it could house some crazy Greek mythical creatures down there <laughs> in that pattern. Yeah, man. So that was pretty amazing. Can you guys see the pattern here? Now look, I'm uh, really hoping you can see how beautiful this animal is. I mean, goodness gracious. So you talked your wife into the beautiful stuff. Oh wait, no you didn't because like you just taught everybody just go for it. Yeah. So you just went for this as well? Yes. Now I know you get some good deals brother, but I mean, whew, you really went hunting for this stuff, right? I did. So I'm glad however you got it. Maybe you paid too much, maybe you got a great deal. Who knows? But you have this amazing animal here with you. Yeah, and I definitely want to keep this guy around for uh, some uh, shows. Oh yeah. I want to do. I want to get into some kids shows here. So that would be get amazing. Size in a couple years. Well, you definitely let me know how I can help you with that because I'm definitely into doing some right. cool stuff and seeing the kiddos trip out on just the beauty here. And by then the size too. Whew. So size matters. Only if she says so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, check this out. Now, many of you know who Austin is from Ball and Chain Constrictors. If you don't. What is wrong with you? Where have you been? He's been putting out some great stuff. I mean, I digress. Um, <laughs> bro, 
what is it that you're going to be doing at 350 subscribers? At 350 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. A what? A giveaway. That's what's good, guys. Thank you for helping and spreading the love for great people. That means go over to that channel right now. Dude, what are we doing in the bathroom together? Uh, we are uh, giving a take of that. Oh, whoa, what kind of tegu is this? This is a black and white tegu. Doesn't look like he likes being held. No, not really. But he, he is he up. up. Oh, look at that, he just completely mellowed out. Yeah, he's puffing his, his uh... Coconut fresh. <laughs> coconut fresh. <laughs> he was just getting rubbed down with some amazing coconut oil right here, so... You know what I mean? Check that out, guys. No, not yet. No, not yet? Nope. It's gonna happen. Yeah. It's gonna happen, folks. Wow. Yeah, they huff and puff too. And they so don't this like is a handsome animal. devil right here. Is he, is he like a lonely dude? Uh, as of right now, yes, because he uh, got the female pregnant. Oh, they did that already. Yeah. Where's the female at? <sighs> the female is right over here. Big girl's up here. here Cousin, Nick. Cousin Sammy over here. Hey, what's up, bro? What up, dog? This is a very nice custom setup over here. Yeah, yeah. It took me forever. Oh, people. she's nesting. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. So she's pregu. She's a pregu tegu. There you go. I can't tell whether she's nesting or she's just trying to get out because she was doing that when she was trying to get out. Yesterday. Huh. So for any of you that know, please leave a comment below. Let's find out. Is she nesting or is she trying to be a Houdini? What's that, baby girl? Amazing. Dude, so when are we getting tegus? Uh, it says the eggs take anywhere between 40 to a, no. 40 to 120 days. Yeah, 40 to 120 days. So, so we're already doing the countdown and stuff. Yeah, as soon as she drops. So Ooh. if you guys are interested in tegus, hit us up, go to Ball and Chain Constrictors. You can leave comments here and I'll forward it over to the proper people. I'm gonna pull it out. Oh, snap. So you guys have become friends already. Yeah, she's chilling with me. Wowzer. Yeah. Wow. She is so tame. Yeah, she's. I mean, sometimes she squirms, but most of the time, compared to him, she's very really docile. Let go of my shirt. <sighs> just let him out, let him roam around the house. Every now and then, after I give him a bath, and make sure that they don't, uh, not shed. Yeah. Look at this guy's open toe shoes over here. These guys are bold. She kind of scared me. She was sniffing my toes yesterday. <laughs> right? Oh, They're like hot dogs. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Some <laughs> cheetahs. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Stay tuned because we're gonna go see a world's first. So check it out. I'm trekking up a mini mountain. No, I'm just kidding. I'm over here at Ball and Chain Constrictors, and I'm getting to go to his very, very own snake room. Well, if you guys paid attention to the thumbnail, we're about to show you something amazing. We're about to look at a world's first. A uh, what's first? A world's first. A uh, who's first? You know, a first to the world, like the first time the world's gonna ever get a chance to like hang with one of these. Now, if you guys pay attention to ball and chain constrictors, you would have seen this before, but he didn't emphasize the fact that it was a world's first. But now, in this moment, we're gonna do just that. Okay, here we go. What in the world are we looking at here, bro? Right here, you're looking at an albino. Rex, get out of the way. You're looking at a beautiful dog, and now back to the beautiful snake. Right here, you got an albino, black pastel, Mojave, spider. Oh, snaps. You guys see the pattern here? Look at that. You can definitely see it. Man, I love the new camera, man. We're able to see things now, guys. Wow, you can definitely see the difference that the, the differences here in the pattern. Well, as she ages too, it just gets better and better. Snaps. And did you guys see her eyes? Those are red eyes, guys. Oh yes. So there you have it. World's first here. At ball and chain constrictors. Freaking first. Ha <laughs> man. Gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. 
So, um, can I just have this one? And I'll just here. Let me just take this real quick. Okay. No, you're not gonna let me just take it with. No, with she me? don't want to go. She, she, she just she wants to go hang out in the man cave. She said no. She loves it here. See, there's that corkscrew I was talking about. Oh yeah. So for those of you that may think there's no spider in here, we've confirmed. All right, guys. Thank you so much. We appreciate you coming down and taking some time to view ball and chain constrictors. Amazing world's first. So uh, you got some big plans for that, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at him just repping Corporal Soto. Man, I love that. Mm. If you guys want to uh, send down some stickers, I'm putting some on the incubator. Oh, yeah. We're going to definitely have to see that. This whole area is going to be just packed I'll with stickers. I'll probably on the side first so I can still look in. Oh, yeah. That, that's probably a lot smarter. Yeah. Uh, Why did I think, think of that? wrong with me. I don't know. <laughs> Alright guys, later. Alright guys, so we've been hanging out over here. We didn't get bit. That's cool, but check this out. We're gonna show you something amazing that was recently purchased. So you got this for a very special reason. You wanna tell her to be with us about? Yes, my wife is uh, infatuated with turtles and sea turtles. So I saw the picture that he was giving away as a little one and I hit him up and asked him, hey, can I get one? And so what did he do? He made that move and purchased an amazing picture for his wife. And what is it made out of? This is something like uh, stainless steel. Oh, wow. So this is like gonna last a yep. long time. And then it comes with like this built-in little oh, hanging box. Check, so it can have like, like this effect. It can be hanging away from the wall kind of thing. Yeah, I dig it. And this is like the freedom breeder of uh, hang-up pictures. <laughs> there you go, guys. All right, until next time, we'll see you on the next vlog.